guys, I'm the Enterprise, and how's it going? Today, we're going to be reviewing Food Wars, episode 16 of season 3. Yes! This episode was amazing, and I'm actually going to push the camera forward because it doesn't, just, I don't feel right. Anyways, here we go. This episode was amazing. <laughs> oh, freak. This episode was really amazing, though. Like, it, the, the animation, the setup, the, the feel of the episode was great. It lives up to the manga. In fact, it felt like I was just reading the chapters again. Like, I had the same feeling I got when I was reading the chapters when Hayama appeared out of freaking nowhere. I was like, oh, yes. I'm here. It's like I am part of Central now, which leads me to the first topic actually. Is Hayama is in Central! He's number 9 in the Elite, uh, elite 10. Number freaking 9! <laughs> Hayama is part of the Elite 10. And he's in Central too. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is crazy, okay? This is- I didn't ex- well, I did, but honestly, Hayama? In the Elite 10? What the hell is this? What the frick, Hayama? You were like, you were a good guy, right? You were one of so much pals. All of a sudden, now you're like, oh yeah, I'm the Elite 10, I am- um, Part of the, I'm the strong, one of the strongest guys in the world. <laughs> I'm the strongest cooks, and it's like, whew. and it's gonna be a great battle. Like freak Hayama, man. I don't even know what to say. You're just freaking. You're in that group. You're essential. You're gonna get destroyed. That's all I gotta say. Cause like you're a bad guy. You're getting destroyed. That's what happened. That's gonna happen. Next, our old, our good old buddy Kuga is back from the dead. He is back to help Selma on certain conditions, of course. He wants Selma to become the ninth seat. He wants the ch him to challenge um, Hayama to a Shogugeki where he'll get him to relinquish his ninth seat. In which case, um, Kuga can challenge Selma and get his seat. So he can become an Elite 10 member once again. That's his plan, so now that's why he's helping Soma. <laughs> I was like, wow, Kuga, my man, he's back. I loved Kuga. He's like, he's such like a freaking up living person. He's such, he's one of those guys who like, you can feel like he's gonna backstab you at any moment. He has his own motivations, and it's just funny. And it's great too. Kuga's a great character. He reminds me of a lot of Soma. It's great. <sighs> yeah, so that, that's that. Now I'm gonna talk about um, the fair meat. That's the topic of their exam. Because Hayama's in Soma are in the exam. And yeah, they're using fair meat, alright? And fair meat has a certain smell that's pretty ranchy and not, not good. Not a good smell. So it's like, oh, you got these spices. AKA Hayama's specialty to make the dish better and work for you. Alright, so I, you, when you think about it, when you try, you thought they were gonna be fair. <laughs> no! They're using Hayama's specialty against Soma. They're using the, the freaking the spices for the bear meat, and Hayama's a league ahead of, in his own world where Soma's down below with the rest. It's like, oh boy, man, how can Soma overcome Hayama at this point? They're using bear meat. I don't think Soma ever used or cooked bear meat before. So it's kind of like, okay. Okay. How is Soma going to overcome this situation with the bear meat? It's like, I don't understand how he's going to overcome with that. Like, in, at the end of the episode, he made a, he made like a, some sort of bear patty with some berries, I forget what the berries are called. And freaking Hayama comes in the room and is like, oh yeah, I got mine. It smells way better, it looks better. It's like he comes in and freaking as soon as someone thought he had an idea that would work, he's like, no, nah, it's not gonna work. I'm coming in with the best freaking things ever, and it's like, someone's like, oh, well, I'm screwed. 
So now he has to make an all new, different recipe, even though he just reached this pinpoint. So now, <laughs> honestly, I think next episode is going to be the showdown, because um, of the trailer, I saw it was ever the manga, right? So I think next episode is going to be a showdown. I'm very excited. But that's really all I got to say for this episode. Like, honestly, guys, who do you think is going to win? Hayama or Soma? Usually it's going to be the main character because, you know, main character power. That's what I think, anyway. That's what I think. I'm not sure. Hayama or Soma? Hmm. I wonder. Main character powers or spice? Hmm. Who knows? Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this review, honestly, it's, like it's almost 9 o'clock. And uh, I didn't mean to... Uh, upload it I'm so late. I just was debating on doing this episode, but I, at the end of the day, I was like, ah, I'm bored as hell. I want to make a video. So I watched over Gekino you know, Soma, and I was like, okay, I have to review it at this point because my job as a YouTuber, right? As a YouTuber, I have to review or talk about things. So I have videos I want to, I have more discussions and rants coming out. Don't worry about that. Anyways, guys, like I said before, if you leave a like, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah. So sorry for the late upload, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, John, everybody. I'm still not sure if it's that phrase right. Maybe I should look it up. <laughs>